So what is this foot drop? Let's understand this in detail. So in the foot, we know that it is perpendicularly placed to the leg. So leg, there are two compartments, the anterior compartment of leg. It consists of four muscles. BL is anterior, extensor hallucius longus, extensor digitorum longus and peronis tertius. These are the four muscles of the anterior compartment of the leg. So what it does, it pulls the foot upwards like this. That movement is called extension of the ankle joint. So these muscles of the anterior compartment of leg are supplied by deep peroneal nerve. Whereas the posterior compartment of leg or the calf muscles, they are gastrocnemius, the two heads, medial and lateral head, soleus, plantaris, these are the superficial flexors, and the deep flexors include popliteus, is posterior, flexor hallucius for the great toe, flexor hallucius, flexor digitorum for the remaining digits. So these muscles will cause flexion of the ankle. So bending of the ankle downwards like this is called flexion of the ankle. So the anterior compartment of the leg is supplied by deep peroneal nerve whereas the posterior compartment of the leg is supplied by tibial nerve. Both of these are branches of sciatic nerve. So that is a concept over here which we should understand. The foot can undergo extension. This extension of the ankle joint can also be called as dorsiflexion. And this is called as plantar flexion or just called flexion of the ankle joint. Extension is caused by anterior compartment of the leg controlled by deep peroneal nerve. Whereas flexion of the ankle is caused by posterior compartment of the leg or the calf muscles controlled by tibial nerve. Foot drop is a condition wherein the foot is always like this. That is it is always plantar flexed so that the toes are dragging on the ground. So the person is not able to lift the foot, the normal walking gait is there, he is lifting the foot and he is placing it like this, it is not possible because the foot is always like this, so the toes will be scratching the ground, so it will hurt the toes, this condition where the foot drops downwards here, foot drops down like this is called as foot drop, so why does this actually happen, there is a, if at all there is a damage to the neck of the fibula or the damage to the deep peroneal nerve, either in the anterior compartment of leg or within the spinal canal or the vertebral canal in the which intervertebral disc prolapse or a tumor or a cyst within the vertebral canal. So those condition, those conditions, etiologies, causes can result in foot drop. So that is a basic idea of foot drop. So why does the foot drop happen? Because of paralysis of anterior compartment of leg muscles. When the anterior compartment of leg muscles are paralyzed, the foot cannot be extended or dorsiflexed. Therefore, the unopposed action, because two people are pulling from two directions, so the foot is in neutral position. When one person stops pulling, that is the anterior compartment of leg, it stops pulling, so the foot doesn't go up. But instead, the unopposed action of this flexors of the ankle, the calf muscles, posterior compartment of leg, all are same. Unopposed action of this pulls the ankle downwards like this, so that the toe points downwards and the foot remains always like this. That is mainly because unopposed action of the calf muscles because the tibial nerve is not damaged. Only the one group of muscle is damaged so unopposed action of the opposite group will cause foot drop. So the causes I already mentioned like anything in the spinal canal, the lumbosacral area, spinal canal, the tumor, cyst or intervertebral disc prolapse that can be diagnosed by an x-ray that is eh, investigation then it can be confirmed by ultrasonography or more specifically the MRI where a soft tissue imaging is done so that foot drop can be diagnosed what is the exact etiology. So that, uh, further uh, investigations can be done on nerve stimulation technique. If you stimulate the nerve, the muscle should contract but in this case the nerve is dead. Okay, Even if you stimulate the nerve, the muscle won't contract that shows that the nerve is involved or we can do instead of nerve stimulation technique, we can do electromyography wherein electrodes are kept on the muscle to check the integrity of the muscle. Those are the investigation of choice, the x-ray, ultrasonography and MRI of the lumbosacral area that is the backbone or nerve conduction studies and, and electromyography of the 
leg area the muscle which is involved and then which is involved deep peroneal nerve that one okay so those are the investigation of choice treatment of choice is mainly physiotherapy you should do physiotherapy and we can put a splint we can put a splint which holds the foot in that position so it's like a one splint which keeps the foot always like this instead of being like this the splint will remain like this and physiotherapy of the muscle will help and nerve stimulation techniques which stimulates the nerve on day to day basis physiotherapy so that the muscle comes back to its initial position or surgery if at all the tumor or a cyst is compressing the intervertebral canal so intervertebral disc prolapse has to be treated by surgical techniques so the foot drop is corrected so thank you for watching and learning from logic medical